All right, they announced something. Is it worth it? Let's talk about it. And welcome back to the messy garage where we're super messy. Uh, <laughs> unusually, it's because I'm moving, not because I'm my normal messy anyway. But the news of the day is the new M12 Stubby Gen 2, the 256320. I think it's 2563P20 if you want the uh, pin detent that the hog ring model is what makes it easy to swap on and off sockets quickly. So my general recommendation would be that unless you're working with one socket all the time, most of the time, and want it to stay on. So this is my original M12 stubby, and I've always liked it a lot. Like When I first got it, I really enjoyed it. But it has been kind of dormant unless I'm doing some light duty things because it's only about 250 pounds of, of torque. And when this guy came out, this is the Gen 2 mid, and it had the tri-lights, it had the M18 battery, it had 650 foot pounds of torque, and it fit in most of the places the stubby did. A little heavier because of the battery, a little taller, but in most cases, this did what I want. However, it's bigger, it's bulkier, it's heavier, um, and the M12 is great if you're doing like interiors or light duty stuff. I found it would even sometimes struggle on lugs. So now Milwaukee has come out with the new M12 Stubby Gen 2. So it's 550 pounds of nut busting, so almost as much as the mid, uh, 400 for fastening. And they've done some things to make the case more robust, which is great. Although I haven't had any troubles with it. I put boots on all mine. There is a boot, by the way, which is part 49-16-2562. Um, that I would recommend. And it lets you stand it up and gives you some impact protection. But anyway, <clears throat> the things that made me switch to this from my first-gen mid-torque was tri-lights and modes. And of course... This has the modes, but it doesn't have tri lights. And I tell you, the tri lights have been something I really enjoy about that. Um, so the new stub you'll have it and all those modes. Now, especially by the way, I love the mode four, which both of these have, and the new one will have where when it's done, when you can, when it feels the, the fastener is broken free or tightened, it slows down and doesn't ug ug the, the fastener to death. Um, great feature. Love that. Um, the new one's still at 2.2 2 pounds. Same physical package or only slightly different. There's a new boot. Um, the tri-lights will be a big thing. And for me, when I travel a lot in my old BMWs, uh, that, uh, this package is great. You know, carry a few half-inch sockets and carry this, and you're going to be able to do nearly everything in Gen 2 form that you can do with this bigger, heavier thing. And I like that idea a lot. <clears throat> so, will I be ordering it? Yeah, yeah, I will. So I'll sell this on Craigslist or something or Facebook Marketplace. And, uh, you know, I will miss it, but I really look forward to having something super light. I mean, this is such a light package, and that is the name of the game when you're working. And I would say, not just for pros, when you're a guy who's under the car, on a rollerboard, you know, doing stuff in tight spaces, weight really wears you out. And this thing, with almost the power of this thing, is really attractive. So, yeah, I'm going to get it, and I'll put it up here when I do. But in the meantime, stay messy.